It's the world's most expensive diamond, 105.6 carats, worth 591 million dollars. The Kuhanur, which means mountain of light in Persian, is the centerpiece of the British state imperial crown, but it's also at the center of a global, long-running controversy. And after catching the eyes of the world as it dazzled from the top of Queen Elizabeth's coffin, that row has once again been brought to the fore. For decades, Indians, Pakistanis, Afghans and Iranians have laid claim to the precious stone. And now people in India are demanding it is returned to the country. It is said it was discovered there and was owned by kings in the subcontinent for thousands of years before the British East India Company seized it in 1849 from the country's 10-year-old king who lost the empire to the British colonizers. They gifted it to Queen Victoria and it eventually ended up as part of today's state imperial crown. Since 1947, when India gained independence from Britain, there have been multiple attempts to have it returned. But Britain claims it is the rightful owner of the gemstone, which is now part of royal tradition, and there are no legal grounds for restitution. So now the row rumbles on. Is it a symbol of colonial looting that should be given back, or was it legally obtained? And how should Britain's new monarch and government address these growing demands?